for the introduction, slope mass rating is considered as a road mass classification scheme developed by Manuel Romana to describe the strength of an individual rock outcrop or slope. The road mass classification systems are a worldwide communication system for explorers, designers, along with constructors to facilitate characterization, classification, and knowledge of road mass properties. In addition, the main benefit for using the road mass classification scheme such as it is an effective way of representing road mass quality and also encapsulating precedent practice. Road mass classifications present a lot of well-known limitations. Road mass classifications generally consider the parameters which are related to slope geometry, intact rock strength, discontinuity spacing, or block size, and shear strength along discontinuities. Slope mass rating is derived from basic rock mass rating and it is initially created for tunneling applications. Apart from that, there are a total of 4 applications for slope mass rating including open pit mining, linear infrastructure slopes, rock fall hazard, and rock tunneling as shown clearly from the 3rd powerpoint slide until the 6th powerpoint slide. mass rating can be evaluated using the formula below. To find the value of SMR, the total multiples of factor 1 to factor 3 need to be added with factor 4 and subtracted with the value of RMR. To determine the value of SMR, the following parameters need to be identified. Factor 1. The parallel between joints and face strike. Factor 2. The joint deep angle in the planar failure mode. Factor 3. Slope of the face strike and joint. And finally, factor 4. Factor of the method of excavation. I'm going to talk about the equipment and materials that is used to conduct SMR assessment. So the first one is measuring tape. Second is fracture gauge or ruler. Third is rebound hammer. Fourth is torch light. Last one is SMR tool. The next one is procedure, which is 5.1 adjustment factor. I'm going to talk about the factor 1 and factor 2. So, factor 1 depends on the paral parallelism between joints and slope face right. The value range is 0 0.15 to 1.0. So the meaning of 0.15 is when the angle between the joint plane and the slope face is more than 30 degrees and the failure probability is very low. And 1.0 is when both are near parallel. And this is the equation for factor 1. Factor 2 is related to joint tip angle in the planar failure mode which is the range is also same as factor 1, 0 0.15 to 0 1.0. So in this case, 0 0.15 is when the dip of the joint is less than 20 degrees and 1.0 is when the joint with dip more than 45 degrees. For toppling mode of failure, factor 2 remains equal to 1.0. And this is the equation for factor 2 for adjustment of factor. For the third factors, uh, it's referred to the relationship between the slope face trick and joint deep angle. It varies range from 0 to negative 60. For first factor, second factor and the third 
factors are adjustment factors related to joint orientation with respect to slope orientation. For the four fault factor is a factor for the method of excavation and its adjustment factors have been fixed empirically as shown in table one. Table one has shown the adjustment renting for method of excavation. Uh, through the table one we, we know that the natural slope are more stable because of long time erosion and built in protection mechanics. So the value for the fault factor is the positive 15. Next is the breasting or mechanical excavation. It's applied with sounds method does not change slope stability condition so the value is equal to zero and last for the deficient or poor breasting slope stability the value is equal to negative next for the continuous function uh, thomas proposed asymptotical continuous function for f1 f2 and f3 of correct correction factors is show maximum absolute difference against original discrete function smaller than 7 points. These functions are very useful to identify the procedure of SMR such as use the computer routines for SMR calculus and also use geographical information system and others. Table 5 that has been shown that the formula of F1, F2 and F3 uh, of continuous function for the bread plana and toppling inside the formula of f1 f2 and f3 has been shown the formula uh, uh, value of a and b and c for value a the meaning for a is parallelized between the discontinuity and the slope strip and the value of b is defined as a discontinuity dip and the last value of c C is the discontinuity and slope dig relationship. And then we go to the adaptation and validation of SMR, which is slope mass rating. Below this title, there is five items that I will explain to you one by one, which is the number one is Chinese slope mass rating, or we call it as a CSMR. Chinese slope mass ratings was developed by Chen 1995 to adopt SMR system to rock slope conditions in China. It is used as a national standard for slope in design and construction of dams and hydroelectric power stations. Moreover, it adapts to additional factors in SMR which are high of slope and condition of discontinuity. Here is the formula for the CSMR. Here we go to the second point which is FSMR or in the full name is a fuzzy slope mass rating. FSMR actually is based on fuzzy set theory which is applied into the SMR system. Besides, it evaluates the rock slope stability of an open pit mine. For the number 3, modified slope mass rating or we call it as a MSMR. It is a modification of SMR in terms of parameter calculation and determination method. In addition, it also used for writing rock mass of heterogeneous formations composed of alternation of different lithologies. And then we go to the number 4 which is the rock hazards rating system or we call it as a RHRS. It was developed by Pearson 1990 for the assessment of rock fall risk along roads. Furthermore, Budata incorporated SMR for hazards evaluation in a broad scope. Yeah, here we go for the last point, which is the point of number five, is a uh, SMR tools. SMR tools is a calculator program in Microsoft Excel, which is in computing the SMR. It was developed by Recall Me 2014 in an open access format. There are 5 parameter values in SMR and 4 adjustment factors are computed. Besides, the value of SMR are given for the stability of slope, the system of recommended by SMR and also the mode of failure. As part of the video, I'll be talking about SMR 2 and the limitations of SMR. 
SMR tool. SMR tool is an application that is developed for geomechanical classification of slope mass weighting. It is used to calculate the coefficients of F1, F2, and F3 from the slope deep vectors. Secondly, the intersection or discontinuity of planes depending on the possible mode of failures. And last, the corresponding range for few discontinuity of sets. The requirement of inputs of this SMR tool are firstly, the orientation of slope, second, the method of excavation, third, the discontinuity orientation, and finally, the rock mass weighting value. This is the example of the interface of SMR tool. From the application, a user can firstly view the graphical interpretation of auxiliary angles, secondly, modify slope and discontinuity to view and understand how auxiliary angles and adjustment factors may vary, and lastly, introduce slope and all discontinuity with their respective rock mass rating value. SMR has been widely used various uh, fields such as A, the geomechanics classification for rating rock slopes. Secondly, to quantify the effects of discontinuities on the stability of a slope. The third one is as a complement to other methods such as rock mass rating. And lastly, as a preliminary and complementary methods of engineering works. Although SMR has uh, advantages, it also comes with the limitations. The limitations of SMR are it is slightly conservative. And secondly, the extreme values of F3 from negative 60 degrees to negative 30 degrees are difficult to cope with. And lastly, it did not take account with the effects of height.